Alright, welcome back. This week, while I'm painting in the background, I wanted to do a video sharing my experience when it comes to learning, mistakes, and perfectionism. Specifically, a trap that I fell into that caused me a lot of problems, snowballed out of control, massively slowed down my growth, and even led me to quit. But it also led me to the most important lesson I've ever learned. I'm going to be talking about this from the perspective of learning art, but I think you can fall into this trap when trying to improve at anything. Also, a quick disclaimer, I'm not some expert, I'm just sharing my story about the mistakes I've made and a couple of key things I did to overcome them. I think for this to make sense, I need to share the story of how I fell into this trap in the first place, and how big a problem it became before talking about how I got out of it. If you stick with me, it will make sense. So here goes. Back when I started learning to draw, I had very little skill. I'd just dropped out of college where I was studying graphic design to learn how to draw and paint and hopefully become an artist. I remember spending all day trying to draw a head and after I was finished, it dawned on me that this was going to take an extraordinary amount of effort. I sent what I had done to my parents, who are very supportive, and they just said something along the lines of, well done, it's the start of a long journey. Later I would find out they were actually very concerned because they realised how little skill I actually had. I knew I had a very long road ahead of me, and there was going to be a lot of bad drawings before I started creating good ones. At the time I had about as much self-discipline as a biscuit, but through support and a very smart accountability system that my parents set up, I started practicing 40 hours a week. There was a lot of growing pains and a hefty dose of frustration, but overall I was having a lot of fun learning, and the better I got, the more I enjoyed it. At about the one year mark, I had improved quite a lot, and I started drawing things that I actually liked. It felt amazing to see the progress from all that effort I'd put in, I was so excited to see how much more I could improve. The future was looking very bright. But then something happened. As I started seeing more and more improvement, I started expecting more from myself each time I sat down to practice. At the time, I actually thought this was a good thing. I've read some dodgy self-help books in my time, and I was convinced that having high expectations would somehow magically translate into me improving faster. Little did I know, this would become the cause of so much struggle. Back when I started, I knew that I was probably more likely to wake up one day with the ability to read minds than create something good. I simply didn't have the skill yet. This meant that when I was practicing, I didn't spend any energy expecting something great. Instead, I was fully absorbed and focused on the process. But as I started getting better, and my expectations grew, the focus slowly shifted away from the process and towards the outcome. As this happened more and more over about a year-long period, it started to cause problems. The first thing that happened was I changed the way I would judge things. Before, if I made a mistake or something wasn't turning out well, I would stay calm, think about what I could do to solve the problem, and try it. If it didn't work, I'd try something else. If I made loads of mistakes, I get frustrated, but all in all, nothing major. It wouldn't ruin my whole day or anything. But when I expected myself to create something good, this all changed. Now I would look at the image in its unfinished state, and instead of judging it objectively and seeing what I could do to improve it, I would compare it to my expectations and judge myself instead. My inner critic loved this. With each mistake, it got a little bit louder and a little bit more cutting. Before long, every mistake I made would be met with my inner critic screaming that I was a loser who'd never be able to fix it and never be able to improve. This only got worse as time went on, and it got to the point where every day became this painful, draining, and difficult slog. I would try to do a painting and end up destroying it out of sheer frustration and self-doubt. On what was now considered a good day, this would happen two to three times. On a bad day, it was over 20. On top of making practice excruciating, it slowed my progress more and more, and any progress I did make I was blind to. I would just feel this wave of negative emotion as I looked at anything that I'd done and saw that they didn't match up to my impossibly high expectations. At this point in my development, discipline had become a trait that I valued deeply and something that I really wanted to develop. Since I wasn't really aware of why this was happening, 
I just poured all of my focus into trying to brute force my way through. I thought that all this frustration and negativity was just a part of what being disciplined felt like. This really all came from my expectations getting out of hand, which pulled my focus away from the process and onto the result. The more I focused on the result, the more mistakes I would make and the more I would judge myself as a person. The more I did that, the worse my paintings would be if I even finished them, which then made the judgments even harsher the next time. It was a really vicious cycle and it was one that I was trapped in for years. I had developed a crippling case of perfectionism. One day I found myself googling what panic attacks felt like and realised that the symptoms sounded all too familiar. This was something I experienced almost daily when I was practising. By the time I hit the five year mark after dropping out of college to pursue art, I felt like I had taken this thing that I used to love doing and twisted it into something that was just painful and would often reduce me to tears. I remember one day I was thinking back on the 21 year old version of myself that was so excited about the future and I felt deeply ashamed with how it had all turned out. I quit a few months later. I told everyone that I just needed to focus on earning some more money so I could go get some more art training, but honestly, I just couldn't cope with it anymore. Over the next couple of years, I would occasionally try to draw or paint, but I would run right back into all of those problems. I often tried to avoid even looking at art because I knew it would make me want to paint again and I just didn't want to have to deal with all of the pain involved. But after the first few months of lockdown with nothing much to do, I decided it was finally time to dip my toe in and try again. This time I knew I had to change the way I was approaching things. It took a lot of effort and I tried a lot of different things, but I was eventually able to stop the cycle and change the way I was looking at things completely. There were two key mindset shifts that made all the difference. The first shift I had to do was accept that not everything would be a success. I'd been down that road and the only thing it taught me was that it was the wrong direction. Accepting this was a great first step as it got me back to doing art again but I still had this real problem dealing with mistakes and perfectionism, so a second shift had to occur. Luckily, I have a pretty awesome flatmate who knew that I had this issue, and one of the things they would regularly say to me was, anything worth doing is worth doing badly. Honestly, at first, I thought this might have been the dumbest thing I'd ever heard. I couldn't see how doing something badly could be anything except negative. But as I continued showing up to the easel and thinking about it, eventually it started to make sense. I realised that even if I did something and it failed, contained within that failure was something incredibly valuable. Much to my surprise, this valuable thing was actually my mistakes. Those same mistakes that had caused me so much trouble were actually a signal. They showed me where I needed to improve. Over time, as this new belief became stronger and stronger, that inner critic became quieter and quieter. I noticed that as long as I listened to them, mistakes and failures started to take on a new meaning. They weren't an attack on who I was as a person, they don't define me, they're a roadmap for growth. It's been a few months since that belief became really solid, and I'm thrilled to say I haven't had any panic attacks. I'm enjoying drawing and painting more than I ever thought possible and I'm getting better at it too. The future is looking very bright. And that's my thoughts on expectations, mistakes and perfectionism. I hope you enjoyed it, well not sure if enjoyed is the right word but I hope you got something out of it and if you're somebody that struggles with this kind of thing I hope that this will make your journey a little easier. Please consider liking if you found it valuable and subscribing if you want to know when I create my next video. Take it easy.